finally texted me after four days. Yes, I'm going to respond straight away. That'll get her. Don't do it, Jeffrey. Don't do it. Oh. No response yet. And so Jeffrey starts to stalk her Instagram story. She's with another guy. Oh, uh, yeah, he he's just, they're just friends. Yeah, they're just friends. Oh, fuck. That just, <laughs> that just gave me a fucking red pill, bro. I'm going to stop the fucking intro right here. There was a girl. Like, I sound horrible by saying this, but she had, like, more of a beta male version of me. Like, he looked like me, but less attractive and less confident. And he and her had a 48-day Snapchat streak, like, story thing. Like, so they had texted each other every single day for 48 days, which is, like, what, two months almost? And every single time she would put me on her story at nighttime in the back of her car, he would start blowing up her phone with her. And every single time i would see her even be repulsed by this guy's messages and send him the same messages back what it's hamza he's just my friend i was just her friend and she was naked when she sent that message to him adonis Adonis notices Anastasia walking past him. He gives her a confident smile, even a little wink. And then he goes right back to his work. Anastasia is left wondering why he isn't running up to her like all of the Jeffreys. But it makes sense. He is the ultimate male after all, and work is his priority. She's waiting and waiting and waiting for his text message. And when it finally comes, my God, what a text that is. Instantly, she is so excited to see him. How did Adonis command this much attraction from Anastasia just from from his singular text message. That's what Adonis is gonna teach us today. Before we begin, you need to admit that you are someone who probably needs this advice in this video. You need to hold your hand up right now because most guys can't do this. Most guys are Jeffries and they can't even admit that they're not like excellent in a certain area. You need to hold your hand up and say, you know what? I often do get into dry conversations through text. I often do text a girl and the attraction that we may have had just diminishes because I'm not amazing at texting before. I've never really actively improved my texting game. I just text however my default Jeffrey brain tells me to do and it's not been that effective so far if you can relate to that experience you need to hold your hand up and just kind of say like yeah yeah you know what I kind of need this video most guys will never do this they've got this arrogant sense of like yeah I'm so sick a girl should like me and then they're lonely they stay like that forever when I was 17 18 19 21 22 I totally admitted to myself that I wasn't good with girls and that I need to constantly keep improving so that I could get what I want which was love and relationships I had that humility to hold my hand up and say I need to improve this area of my life and that's why I made progress. There's three secrets that we're going to cover and one of these is my best one, my personal one that no one has ever told you about because it's going to seem so silly that every other YouTuber, every other person you've ever asked for dating advice, they'll think that it's weird. You try it once and you'll be like, oh shit, okay, this is how I'm going to text for the rest of my life. My friend Sam has done this and every single time he uses this certain like tactic that I taught him, he always comes to me and like we always laugh about how stupid it is, but how it just has worked to actually get what we want. Most guys will never have the confidence to do it because it seems a bit weird. But first of all, the first secret to avoid Avoiding dry conversations, and this was something that I did so many times. Stop asking boring ass questions. Never ever will you ever ask a girl, trust me, never ask a girl ever again. What are you up to, haha? -ha. That used to be my first message that I would send to girls on Tinder. I remember that I finally got two matches on Tinder, bro. I made my account, it took me like three days. This was, you know, 16, 17 years old. I got two matches of girls that weren't even attractive and I sent them both. What are you up to, haha? -ha. Both of them disappeared the next time I opened the app. And I was like, no, no, no. Uh, you know, if one disappeared, she, she could have unmatched me, but there's no way that both of them unmatched me, bro. I went on to, you know, the little cog. I Icon. I clicked on that, went on to the help. I sent their tech support a ticket saying that I've mysteriously lost my matches. I'm going to say that again. My texting was so dry that I lost both of my matches in an event that felt like there was a tech issue. Never ever will you ever ask a girl, hey, what you doing? Haha. <laughs> there was another girl that I met from Tinder. I told this story just recently. And my friend helped me to get her phone number. Like I asked them what to say. I got her phone number. And our conversation, like it actually, like, you know, was for a long period of time because she kept, she never rejected me. She just, you know, gave me dry conversation. And every single day I would message her, hey, what are you doing? And she would literally reply, TV space U, the letter U question mark, XX. And I, oh my gosh, she's replying, oh wow, I love her, she's watching Jimmy Goose. Do you think I ever even met her in person? Never mind even dating her or sleeping with her. Obviously not. The guy that these girls are sleeping with are not asking them these boring ass questions, like taking an interest in their lives. I know that seems silly because I know that every other piece of advice that you've probably seen online, what's like the, the blue pill, good boy feeling that all these other people have told you on how to attract girls? I'm gonna take an interest. 
interested in platinum? No, absolutely not. I'm telling you right now, that's not the way to attract a girl at all. Think about it. What is the usual common experience of a girl who's kind of annoyed at the guy who keeps fucking her and won't commit? That kind of guy, is he there like taking an interest? Oh my God, okay, so you've got science class and then maths class and then you're gonna watch TV. No, he's literally just taking an interest in himself. That kind of guy is quite selfish. And the thing is, women won't ever be able to openly admit these things. This is why we don't ever take advice from women in terms of dating, because most women, I'd say about 99%, can't really pinpoint what they're actually attracted to. Women will say, oh, you know, I really want the guy who cares about me. Every guy that they're fucking is quite selfish and self-interested. So asking these questions to take an interest in her life, it's not what the guys are doing that she's actually falling for. So what are they doing? Well, they're using secret number two, which is to be playful, flirty, and sexual. These guys are not asking her these dry questions. Like, oh, wait, what are you going to do after science class? The kind of guys that are actually sleeping with these girls, actually dating these girls. These girls are obsessed with. These girls are like crying because this guy's not replying. Guess what these guys actually are like? They don't care about what she's doing. They're just having like a fun time messaging her and like playing around with her. So, so far we've covered that you're not going to act like the guys who get left on red, which is ah, taking an interest in their life because that's not attractive, even though every girl will tell you it is. It's so weird because it's like I'm telling you to do something which girls will tell you doesn't work and yet it will work. You'll never find a girl who's totally obsessed with the guy who takes an interest in their lives. Just as simple as that. If there is anyone like that, if there is any relationships like that, it's usually that the guy's really feminine, the girl's really masculine and the guy's just obsessed with her and while she wants to go and do her career and shit, which probably isn't the kind of relationship that you want. If you're a masculine guy, you want a feminine woman, you want a woman who's more taking an interest in you whilst you take an interest in your work. So the way to then text the girl is to always hold this kind of like funny, flirty, playful attitude when you text her. There's no dry, oh, what are you gonna do? It's more like, I bet you're stepping on snails right now. That's a fucking random one. Like, I bet like, the, that's like just, just try that bro. Instead of ever asking a girl, oh, what are you doing right now? Literally just send her the message. I bet you're stepping on snails right now. Like send that as your first Tinder message. I guarantee you'll get more responses than, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> to attract a woman, it isn't even about making her like you. Every guy who's actually successful with women knows this and every guy who's not good with women, maybe you, doesn't know this. Every fuckboy, every player, the guys who have been ultra successful with women know what it is. You don't have to make a woman like you. You just have to make a woman emotionally invested into you. You have to simply make her think more about you and she will fall for you. It's as simple as that. You have to take up more brain space for her. The little chump who's one dimensional and takes an interest in her and just asks her how she's doing. Well, he doesn't take up that space because she's just thinking, oh yeah, it's boring chump. He's not mysterious. He's, yep, that's what I expected him to say. I expected him to send me a chumpy message. He did. Okay, sweet. So, you know, confirmed. No need to think about him anymore. But Chad, why won't he reply back? And why did he just reply back with like a seemingly insult? Now she's thinking about this Chad guy and she's taking his screenshot, sending it to her friends. Like, what does this mean? Oh, he, said, he said that I'm stepping on snails. What does it mean? You make her think about something. You act playful and flirty and a little bit sexual. I bet you're watching stepbrother porn right now. Now, obviously you've got to you know, know your audience and you don't want to do this with some girl who's going to be totally offended or something. But the thing is, the guy who's actually getting this girl doesn't even give a shit if she's offended. You don't need to like steal my lines, but you need to just come up with something that actually makes you laugh. The whole point of this is that you're this like authentic, high value guy who's literally just doing whatever you want. So don't just completely copy my sentences, but find something that literally makes you laugh. Like you can't stop laughing as you're, you're about to send it to her. Like you're just playing with her. You're just teasing her. And when you've done that, I guarantee that if this girl is actually attracted to your normal, natural, masculine energy, she's going to be totally into you. She's going to text you back something great and she's going to take an interest in you. And this is actually where most guys fuck up. So you may have done this before. You may have actually been quite attractive to a girl. She's actually texting you. She's interested in you. It seems all great. You might even go meet up and then she just kind of disappears. She stops replying. She starts ghosting you. So many guys have been through this and they don't realize the most important secret that we need to cover, which is my special one, which will save you from this experience of like, you know, actually doing well with a girl and then falling off. The guys who know what to do at this point usually won't tell you because, you know, if I tell you this, you're going to start like taking more girls and I don't want you to do that. But you know what? I'm going to tell you and it's going to seem weird and you're not going to implement it, but maybe 1% of people who watch this video are going to implement it and actually think, okay, fuck, I'm going to use this tactic for the rest of my life. And are you ready? Secret number three, and the most important, most weird that you're probably not going to implement because you're too soft for this. Do not let her burn the conversation to the ground. Quite frankly, a lot of girls are boring as fuck. Most guys will let a woman take the lead. A girl will take interest in them. You know, the guy said something nice or the guy's like attractive and the girl will send them a message like, oh, so what are you up to right now? Hey, how are you doing? The girl will ask these questions and guys will get so excited. Oh my God, guys, she's asking me questions. Whoa, she's taking an interest. I'm going to reply. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. How are you? No reply. She sent you a message asking how you are. You reply because you know she's just taking an interest in you. And then she doesn't reply to you. What? Most guys don't understand what the fuck just happened. Because some girls, when they start to lead the text message conversation and they start to ask you the question, and it's natural for you to answer 
answer and then ask them, oh, how, what, do you, what do you think about the same topic? It is boring. Guess what most guys would do and it's the worst thing possible to do to maintain or even grow her attraction. It's something that you do all the time, even though it seems common sense. She asks a question, guess what most guys do? They answer the question. Most guys, by answering her shitty, boring question, will make the conversation just die out because now you're in this boring conversation of, oh, how are you? So you wanna know what secret number three actually looks like in a practical sense, and you might not even have the confidence to do this because it seems quite socially abnormal. She will ask you a boring ass question. This will come up, it's almost a trap, and you move on as if she hasn't even said that. You just move on to the next thing that you wanted to say. What are you doing tonight? Are you free at 6 p.m.? It's gonna seem a little bit like you're autistic. This is why most guys don't have the confidence for this because she's gonna ask a question, and the normal social thing to do is to respond to the question, and move on. No, no, no. She's going to ask this boring ass question and you're going to reply with something that's just instantly more exciting and attractive, even though it seems like it's so weird, like you've not answered this question. Girls are so attracted to a guy who does this that they don't even usually pick up on this. Sometimes a girl will reply, oh, but you didn't ask my question. Secret number three, which I'm sure that most guys are never going to use because you need a level of confidence for this. Most guys are pussies, honestly. It's probably you. I'm not going to lie. Probably is you, right? Just... Probably is. But if you weren't a pussy, and if you really wanted to get this girl, you wouldn't allow her to burn the conversation to the ground. And she doesn't really mean to do this. When a girl takes an interest in you and asks you questions, that's a good sign. But most guys take that good sign and they ruin it by answering her question and then the conversation just dies out. The best thing you can do when she asks you a question that's gonna lead to a boring part of the conversation is to ignore it completely. Ignore it completely, send a message as if you've not even seen that. Straight away when she sent you some boring ass fucking question, you reply with the secret number two, like a quick statement, accusation, like a little playful thing like, hey, how are you? I bet you're watching stepbrother porn right now just because it's literally she's gonna remember you so much more than the fucking dweeb who replies yeah i'm good how are you honestly you want the best secrets for getting girls secret number four bonus secret just make her emotionally invested in you do whatever it takes to make her think about you the most most guys most girls will never be able to tell you this even the guys who do this themselves don't even know what they're doing i'm telling you right now there is one secret way one absolute way to make a girl obsessed with you just make her think about you all the time most guys are too pussy for this and they'll only want her to think about about them in the positive sense. The real chads, the real fuckboys, the real players, the guys who get so many girls because they're just fucking good at navigating women. They know for a fact, it's not just about her thinking positive things in her mind. It's about making her angry, making her upset, making her emotional, making her excited. Every spectrum of the emotion. For guys, for us to like a girl, it's only one spectrum. It's just like attraction. It's just liking them. For a girl to like us, it's this whole spectrum of like the more emotions, excitement, horror, anxiety, stress, happiness, all these ones. Literally, there's hundreds of emotions. The more that you can tap into, the more that she's gonna be into you. Most guys are gonna to be too afraid to do this. They're gonna struggle with girls for the rest of their lives. But if you can just somewhat agree with this message and just try it next time, obviously don't get put in jail or anything, but just remember this concept of, okay, you wanna hit the spectrum of emotions. You'll realize the truth behind attracting girls is so simple. It's just that we as men have been trying to attract girls in the way that we would be attracted to a girl, which is okay, like we've gotta like them. For a girl to be attracted to you and actually want to fuck you, it's not even about just attraction. It's just about emotional investments. This is why the guy, like the chads drive women insane crazy this is why you often see girls complain and get angry about the guy that they're fucking they're fucking them and they're not even thinking positively about them and so here's you the one dimensional chump just trying to make her happy you hit one one little part of the emotional circle that's the one overpowered absolutely overpowered like something i've just told you there most guys are not going to use it but maybe if you do your life is going to change forever there's two things that i can give you for free that are linked in the description of this video scroll down right now the first link is seven free workout routines that will build a body that will drive a girl insane like you'll literally look sexy and the second link is a link to a private video that you can't find on youtube which is me discussing the worst three bedroom mistakes that guys make when they actually start to get sexual with a girl so if you've just gotten a new girlfriend or you started to speak to a girl seriously and you think it might end up getting like quite serious you might want to watch that because most guys when they get into the bedroom they just crumble so go click on those links right now click and watch this video right now do the hard work especially when you don't feel like it Mwah.